What's up guys, we're back with another Planet Coaster update. Um, as you can see, we are missing the launch coaster and the T-Rex. I wasn't really happy and I felt like I've learned some new stuff that I can do better, but today we have a B&M invert to go over. Um, and then first, I'm gonna lay out my plan. So, I'll add the flat lights later. I don't know why this is still here. Let me select it, thank you. Flat flat rides will go in later, but so we have an invert. We have a lot of space, so I'm gonna add a wood coaster. I think in this plot here I might go around the water, so like maybe like the lift hill or see. I kind of want the drop to go like here. Oh, okay. So I'll do the lift hill like here, and then choo, and then just fill out the rest of this space. We'll have a launch coaster, an L, sh L layout launch coaster, multi-launch probably here, and then a smaller T-Rex style or other type there. And I think maybe we'll fit a family coaster in here or possibly up on one of these hills. Um, we'll see what the space constraints are, but we have quite a lot of room I believe fit 38% has been used so we still have another 62 I think that's the right math um, I like the Giga but again I'm never really satisfied so I might redo this and but so yeah let's let's look at the invert let's look at the invert um, it's called Patriot red white and blue um, Kind of, t I think it's Dorney Park has Patriot. I don't know. It's a B and M invert. Could be wrong. So let's take a ride on it. So we're gonna come out the lift hill at around 12 miles an hour. Sorry, my chair back just like fell out. Um. Once we get to the top, we're going to take a banking drop to the right into an immelman over the lift hill, as you can see there. And then we'll go down into a vertical loop, turn around, a zero G roll, a bat wing, and then into the brake run where we do another vertical loop and corkscrew at the end. So we come down here and we hit a top speed, I believe 62, 60, ooh, 69 at the bottom, into that immelman drawn out so you're gonna get some float at the top some hang time you come here into that vertical loop get some good G's at the bottom around almost 30 this almost over bank and then we're gonna curve up into the zero G get some nice float there should be interesting and then into this tight bat wing you pull all oh, I think almost five G's coming up yeah 477 so that's gonna be intense and we come into the break run which I thought was big for this all big inverts have break runs I've never really done a break run on a ride or mid course mid course I'm sorry I've had a mid course break run on a ride so that's there and then we're gonna go along the water for this vertical loop into a corkscrew, we were very whippy, pose almost four G's I believe, and then this sustained two, around two G's of force, upwards helix, to a little, not floater drop, but reverse of positive G's, and then it hit the break run, so I'm really happy with this, I definitely think this will stay in the park for a while, um, it takes up a lot of room, but not really at the same time because it's on this like square plot. So I'm gonna move this path here like this. Actually, I'll just do that right now because I keep forgetting to. Because I want the supports there, so we're gonna come here. Do, 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 do. And we can make this kind of like a like a market street sort of setup. And then have that and put some stores in the middle. So yeah, that's Patriot. Um, and then I laid out my plans for you guys. 
So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.